Hi, Dirty Girl here with another Vintage Sales Report video. Uh, it's not been the greatest week in the world, but uh, we soldier on, don't we? So let's get started. I'm going to start with eBay. Um, the first thing is I sold another one of these Kent lighters. I had seven in all. I have, I don't know how many I have left. I think this is the third or fourth one I've sold. Sold it for $11.50 free shipping. And second is this pair of ski gloves from Burton. They're ladies' gloves. They did have some condition issues. I had a price on them of $14.99. I took a best offer of $10 free shipping. But they only cost me a dollar, so it was okay. Now I'm moving on to Etsy. And this is a beautiful sterling silver and turquoise ring by Navajo artist. Jane Yikazba Popovich. She's very well known and uh, it's a really uh, good quality turquoise. And so this sold for $35. And I paid $11 for it. And next up is this very whimsical Japanese ceremonial tea set with a little dude as the, as the teapot. And I sold this for $45. And I paid, I can't see my paper, I paid $15 for him. He was a lot of fun to ship. <laughs> and next up is this brass and mother of pearl bangle bracelet. I've sold several of these. They don't sell for a whole lot, but they've got kind of that bo boho vibe that people are liking these days. So I sold it for $12, and I paid nothing for it because it came from my mother-in-law. And if these look familiar, it's because I've sold a pair of exactly like them before. Um, these are Chevalier from France opera glasses. They're Victorian. Um, they're silver plate. And I sold them for $68. The first pair I sold for a little bit more. Um, these had some condition issues. They were not as functional as the other ones. You couldn't really use them because the focus didn't work. But they're pretty to sit on the shelf. And um, next is this set of wooden nesting boxes. A children's play thing. There are ten boxes with uh, they all have little decals of fairy tales and nursery rhymes and things and I paid five dollars for that and sold it for twenty five this is a pretty old botanical print oh 1940s is what I wrote um, yeah anyway it's in a nice little wood frame I got it at an estate sale for two dollars and sold it for 25 and those you know I try to buy framed artwork that will fit in a um, one of those flat rate boxes so it's not terrible to ship sold another one of these little leather embossed Mexico souvenir coin purses this one is a little nicer than some of the other ones where it had a metal zipper instead of plastic and it was uh, just in a little better condition. I sold it for 12 whole bucks, paid two for it. Um, this is a uh, necklace by maker Sadie Green. Sadie Green is kind of like 1928 jewelry, if you know what that is. They, they do um, copies of old, like, you know, antique jewelry, and they make them look very, very good. I bought this thinking it was truly Edwardian until I got home and looked at it closer and went, oh. Um, but anyway, let's see. How much did I pay for that? I paid $7 for that, sold it for 18 so not great, but it's okay. Um, this is a resin cameo. I have a terrible time, all, speaking of not being able to tell old from new, uh, telling a real cameo from a fake one. I think, I mean, this looks like a, this is a good fake, but... I'm starting to learn the patterns. This, you'll see this flower one done over and over and over, along with the girl that has the ponytail. Anyway, uh, I paid $5 for this and sold it for 12 So, again, not a great profit. Now this, this was a really nice sale. This is a jade bracelet with some kind of 
silver metal, not real silver around it, but it is nice jade. And I sold that for $79. However, the bad news is I was selling it for a friend, so I have to give him his, his cut. That's okay. I sold these little toothpicks. They're still sealed in the package. Uh, there, you can use them for hors d'oeuvres or cupcakes or whatever. I paid a dollar for those at an estate sale, and I sold them for ten. A lot of little sales. Uh, these rimless glasses came from my mother-in-law, so they cost me nothing, and I sold them for twenty-two. They were um, twelve-karat gold-filled, and they came with a case. And finally, I sold lingerie Lou. If you're, you've been watching my haul videos, you might remember her. I got her at the flea market for five dollars. And I sold her for 18. Um, she was in such beautiful condition. She was obviously either treated very gently or never used at all. Because look at her hair. It's just beautiful. And she didn't have a scratch on her. Really nice looking. Her box was beat all to hell, but she was nice. These are fairly common, so they don't sell for a whole lot. But $18. And uh, that's it for my sales. This was the week that ended uh, August 28th. I'm hoping I'm going to have another sales video up for you really soon and maybe get caught up a little bit. Uh, total sales after I take out postage and uh, the consignment fee and everything is $394.50 and I paid out a total of $103. So like I say, not my best week ever, not my worst. Um, still looking forward to fall. Can't wait till sales pick up. And that's it for this week. I'll see you soon. Oh, oh. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can find my stuff at vintagedazzle.etsy.com on Etsy. And you can tell I'm so good at self-promotion. And I am Kara Lennox on eBay. All right, thanks. Bye. Oh, wait. Do you want to see Chloe? Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's in a chair. Right over there. She's licking herself. She camouflages really well. She's doing much, much better. She's eating and drinking and taking care of herself and sleeping a lot. And she seems to be feeling fine. So fingers crossed that she'll be okay for a while. All right. Now I really am going. Bye.